Today we are joining Rokpa's mobile clinic on their mission to the Chitwan district in Nepal. The regular visits allow relationships with the villagers, the local leadership and the neighbors to be built. After knowing more about Rokpa's activities, our local coordinators also bring special cases of children who fell between the cracks to our attention. Therefore, in addition to the mobile clinic, we also have a chance to discover these children's stories. After considerable research and vetting, which had gone on for some months, we decided to take the ones who were living in the most dire circumstances back to Kathmandu to join our Rokpa children's home. This is Hemraj. So she wants to become a doctor. He grew up in the Rokpa children's home. We are going to ward office. Now he is the man in the field. The coordination with the local officials, the family members and the children's needs must always be handled very carefully and with great sensitivity. It goes without saying that their relatives not only agreed but asked us to take their children so that they could have a future that they themselves could not provide. Rokpa selects children with great care. Among other children, we met the Chepan cousins, Unesh, seven years old, and Niraj, 12. They were abandoned by their parents and left with their uncle and aunt. Umesh's mother left him with her sister and Niraj's father left him with his brother. It is strange, but not unheard of, that children in Nepal are moved around between family members. In this case, their aunt and uncle, who had been forced to raise these children, have a daughter of their own, and their priorities are clear. It is seen in the way they dress and in their home. They sleep in a nice clean bed with their daughter. The two boys sleep on the floor, on a pile of dirty laundry. The uncle and aunt had fulfilled their obligation to take care of the children, giving them food, clothes and schooling, but they are unable to love them. The boys don't have much of a future to look forward to in this village. The next day, we take the kids to the Rokpa children's home in Kathmandu. The long drive was tough on these kids, who had never been in a car before, but it was worth it. After a warm welcome by the Rokpa kids who have been joyfully waiting for their new brothers, Lea interviews the new children. Where did you like to stay better? They received their first toys, their own clean towels and a fresh set of clothes. Two of our older boys take them to get cleaned up. They are assigned in their own beds and we meet again a little bit later in the dining room. The usual Rokpa ritual begins. They are greeted, every child introduces themselves by name, with folded hands and lastly for every new boy an older brother will be assigned. When asked about who wants to look after each of the boys, hands shoot up in the air. Now an older brother will show them the ropes, help them study and make sure they really feel at home. The next day, it's hard to believe these children only just arrived. They look like any other happy child in our children's home. These children are a reminder that every smiley face, every seemingly happy child at the Rokpa children's home has a past, a story, a reason they just could not stay where they were and had to find another home. There are so many more children out there who need Rokpa's support. The transition from great suffering to joy gives hope to know we can do this and that anyone supporting Rokpa is a part of this is amazing. We are grateful to all our sponsors. You are the change. Together we make a difference. Rokba, helping where help is needed.